in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, in today's gospel, in today's first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, we read, "Vanity of vanities, all is vanity." The book of Ecclesiastes does not promote a pessimistic way of life, but if you read the whole book more than thrice, we are told that there is nothing new under the sun. Therefore, we are called to live in the above the sun perspective. That means in the perspective of heaven. In the perspective of God, therefore, it is worthwhile to for man to eat, drink, and to live in the fear of God. That is what we read in the book of Ecclesiastes. In the gospel today, we listen about King Herod, who, in order to maintain his power, corrupt in himself, set a wrong example for his people by keeping his brother's wife. But when John the Baptist condemned this act he put him in prison and he murdered him therefore he thought by silencing John the Baptist he could silence he could make the immoral act as a moral act but it is said when a prophet is alive he has one single tongue but when he is murdered he will have thousand tongues therefore we see the guilty conscience of Herod he is confused about jesus and he says this must be john the baptist whom i killed dear friends there is no way that we can bury the truth of our life and hide it with another lie the only way that we can have peace and contentment serenity in our life is accepting what we have done wrong repenting for it and asking the pardon and forgiveness of god let us then humbly come to the sacrament of reconciliation so that the lord may forgive us and give us new life in the precious blood of his son may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen